a force of uh, 3i plus 2j plus uh, 4k in neutrons gives a particle a displacement of uh, 2i, 3j, 5k in meters while uh, working for the work done. Now, these are in vector form, and we know, first of all, that work done, work done is equals to force. In this case, the force is a vector, and the displacement, the displacement is also a vector. So, the work done, so the force given is 3i plus 2j plus 4k. Multiplying with the displacement, which is 2i uh, minus 3j, plus 5k, okay. So since these two are multiplying, of course, this is a dot product. Now, just a reminder, it's important to note that i times i gives us one from vectors. i times j gives us um, zero. Uh, j times j gives us one. k times k gives us one. Then the opposites now. i and j, i and k, zero j and k also zero. So as long as it's i, i, j, j, k, k, we get one. As long as they are opposites, we get zero. So let's see what we obtain. So three i times six uh, times uh, two i will get six i squared. But remember, i squared is one, so it's just six. Three i times, so the i times the j, we get a zero. The i times the k, we get a zero. Uh, this j times this i, we get a zero. 2j times uh, negative 3j, we get a minus 6. Then j times the k, we get a zero. k times i is a zero. k times j is a zero. And lastly, 4k times 5k is just 20. Alternatively, you can just go ahead and just uh, multiply what is corresponding because you know that we have zeros throughout. So this 6 and this negative 6 can cancel out, meaning that what we remain with is just uh, the work done being 20 joules. So there we have it. That's how we find uh, the work done for this particular question. Thank you.